I think buying used things is pretty great. Oftentimes, I'm not one to really care if something is brand new, as long as it still functions as well as or close to something that is new. One man's trash is another man's used trash. I know everyone worries about being scammed or attacked, but honestly, most of my experiences with buying used things from strangers have gone pretty smoothly, except this one, and another one that I'll save for another time. I mean, if someone's trying to sell you a desk, but they don't have any pictures of it, then, then I don't know, don't, don't risk it. When I moved out from my parents' house, I left the PlayStation 3 behind, because it technically belonged to my sister. But I owned a lot of the games, which I brought with me, and by the time I moved out, the only PS3s for sale were used ones. So I figured I'd check Kijiji, which is an online classified ad service, basically the Canadian version of Craigslist, even though we also have Craigslist here. But Kijiji is better. I actually bought my Wii the same way a few years earlier, and the dude happened to be a fan. So I searched up PlayStation 3 and checked out what was available. I come across one for $230, which came with two controllers and like over 20 games. Most of which were like FIFA 2011 to 2069, I don't know. I didn't really care much for them, and so I thought I'd try haggling. Hi, is this still available? And if so, could we negotiate on the price? I'll think about it. How does 200 sound? 215. Okay, I wait a bit. And then I tried the third party tactic. Hmm, well I'm looking at another seller and they're giving theirs for 200. Which was actually true, but they didn't have an extra controller and over 20 games. That's why I'm trying to haggle for this one. 200 is good. <laughs> Got him. Awesome. Actually, I changed my mind. 225. What the hell? How do you go from 230 to 215 to my negotiated price of 200 and then back higher to 225? This person didn't know how to haggle. Unless he saw through my bluff. <gasps> but either way, that counter offer didn't make sense. No deal. Alright, never mind. Okay. So I continued looking at other ads and offers, and then about an hour later, he messages me again. You sure 215 isn't good? What? Okay, at this point, I'm thinking he might be getting a little desperate, so I continued to play hard to get. No. Okay, I'll do 200 if you pick it up today. What is going on? Okay, I thought I was definitely dealing with a kid. But hey, we finally agreed on a price. Alright, where can I meet you? 248 Shimmer Street. When can you come? Uh, is 9 okay? A bit earlier, maybe 8? Okay, see you then. Okay. Do you want to see it working? Yeah, sure. So I head there later that night, and 248 Shimmer Street actually has two apartment buildings, A and B. I texted him and asked which one it is. Uh, it should be A? Should be. Should be? I don't want to know what your building should be, as if it's dependent on unknown factors. I need to know your definitive location so I can safely make this transaction. I was getting a bit nervous. A part of me thought I was going to get mugged, but then I thought, this probably is just a kid who's just not responsible enough to know his own address. I go inside building A. I text him saying I'm at the ground floor, and he replies that he's on his way down. Five minutes pass, nothing. After 10 minutes, I get a text. I don't see you. This dumbass, I don't see him either, meaning he's probably in building B. So I head on over and go inside. I... I still don't see him. And I'm expecting a kidney extracting shank in my body any second now. I'm in building B, I don't see you either. No, I'm in A. Wh what? Was I blind? Was he blind? Where are my kidneys? Okay, still there. I head back to building A. Okay, I'm here. I don't get a reply, but after five minutes of waiting, he finally appears. It's a middle-aged man. I'm gonna die. Are you... Kane with the PS3? Yes, yes, we'll head upstairs to test it. I reluctantly followed. We get to his apartment, and he opens the door. Inside is a kid setting up the PS3. Kane, hurry up. What? Huh? I, I thought you were Kane. But you're also my, my kidneys. Kid Kane finally sets up the PS3, tries to turn it on. Nothing happens. He tries again. Still nothing. 
Big Kane, which I assumed to be his dad, started getting a little irritated. I thought you said it worked. What's going on? Dude, that's my line. The tension was thick with only one C because that's all that could fit with the amount of tension in the room. Kid Kane shuffles around behind the TV, tries one more time, and it finally works. Both he and I let out a relieved sigh. Honestly, at this point, I didn't even care if it worked. I just wanted to get out alive in one piece. I said, cool. Kid Kane packs up the PS3, puts it in a bag, and hands it over to me. I hand him the $200 that we agreed upon and hope Papa Kane was also aware of and approved. His dad takes it from him, counts it, then nods. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're w- y- uh, uh, thanks. And I leave. Alive. <sighs> Worth it. Hey you guys, this video has been brought to you by Loot Anime. Head on over to lootcrate.com slash domix, link below, and use the code domix, D-O-M-I-C-S, to save 10% on new subscriptions. With Loot Anime, every month you'll receive a box full of anime-related collectibles such as apparel, manga, posters, figurines, and much, much more. But you can't wait too long to decide because the deadline to receive that month's crate is the 27th at 9pm PST. Last month we had the theme, Tech, and in it I got a few robot and mecha related things like this Astro Boy light up figure, a Robotech beanie, a Psychopath shirt, and volume 1 of Battle Angel Alita. Wait, isn't that the one they made a movie of and everyone was freaking out because they kept her big anime eyes? Eh. Well, if you missed that one, you can look forward to March's crate with the theme Brave, featuring items from Evangelion, Assassination Classroom, and more. Once again, that's lootcrate.com slash domix with the code domix again for 10% off on new subs. Link below and enjoy!